As a veterinary nurse and dog owner, I know how important it is to feed your dog top quality food. That's why we're here at Bluegate Hall Farm today to find out what ingredients go into the baker's dog food. Come on. I'm here to meet Nick Reed, the owner of the farm, who's going to tell us all about the process of harvesting the wheat. Thanks so much for having us on your beautiful farm, Nick. Yeah, that's a pleasure. Tell me more about your connection with Bakers. Uh, well, I've been farming here for the last sort of 30, 35 years, and certainly over the last 10 years, we've sold quite a bit to Bakers. So I'd really love to know more about the process of harvesting the wheat. Best thing to do is we'll go out in the field, we'll get on a combine, and you can see it all firsthand. harvest? Well, a nice dry spell like this, the key to it really is here. If we can combine it in the right conditions, the job's done. Next, we need to go and see it come in next door and get some samples so we can send it off to the lab for analysis. So, what's the next phase after this? Well, once we've got the all clear from the lab, they'll send the lorry here, pick up the wheat, and it'll go off to the straight Bakers and Sudbury. Welcome to the home of Bakers. Thanks so much for having us here. You're very welcome. So we've been making Bakers on this site for over 25 years now. OK, so this is where our ingredients come in. This is the intake point where the testing is done. There has been a lot of talk about grain in dog food at the moment and if it's good for dogs or not. The reason that we put wheat into the product is because it's a great source of fibre. It's a really good energy source, as well as containing a number of B vitamins, proteins and fatty acids as well. So this is the lab where the ingredients that we saw being taken earlier on are tested. So um, I'd love to know what else goes into the dog food. Baker's is 100% complete meal, which means that it's the only thing that you have to feed your animal. So what we do with the recipe is make sure that it has a balance of carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins and minerals. They don't need to eat anything else, that's their meal. Just that. So here it is, the final pack. Great, and I see there's now no added artificial colouring. So we now use colours and flavours that come only from vegetables and plants and from minerals. That's great. After seeing how Bakers is made, I'm feeling more reassured about the food I feed my dogs.